Hey guys, what it is? It is your girl Cadillac. Yes, I'm Cadillac Dixon. I'm the drama life prison wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. <gasps> Hoping to see justice before all face to black. Yeah, his your girl Cadillac. Anyway, it's coming through at 3 a.m. Girl on April the 26, 2023, girl. So I ain't got much time before I have to go to sleep, All right? So we're going to get into it. I wanted to do my Dollar Tree Crafters Hall. Y'all know my day off yesterday. Um, actually, no, it's the day before now because it's after midnight. I went to four different Dollar 25 trees. Um, and what's crazy, I wasn't meaning to, but I did. And each time you go in, the first time I went in, I'm like, dang, I forgot something. And I went in and then I picked up some more stuff. So this was twice in one Dollar Tree. Um, and then I went to another Dollar Tree because I needed something else. And then I came across all these different craft, um, like basically like wood projects, right? Um, they're basically different shapes and sizes and different things that give you ideas on um, what projects you can do next. And then lastly, when um, I, I spend family time as well, try to get all my work done on um, my days off. And then I try to spend time um, going live and drawing and painting with you guys and giving my commentary, my little two cents, right, girl? Um, and I like to spend family time. So when I asked my daughter, where did she want to go? What did she want to do? She said she wanted to go to the dollar twenty. What was it? The dollar twenty five store. This big one It's a big, big one um, in Apopka. Um, and then she also wanted to go to the dollar movie. So I'm like, girl, OK, let's go. Let's ride. Um, sometimes you got to go ahead and spend that family time, girl. So I went in there and picked up some stuff and I'm like, oh, now what I do like about that Apopka dollar 25 um, tree store is that they literally have things on the shelf. Their aisles is huger. It's much bigger. I don't know the square footage, but this thing is big, like, and it's well organized. It's clean. Money was, um, commenting on how bright it is as bright as a walmart and i know that little dollar 25 tree that's close by me girl the light went out on the aisle it was one aisle that's completely pitch black you're like oh my gosh is this even safe then the stuff is all cluttered a mess y'all already know it's never but one line open and you can walk in that door give me a heart emoji if this happened to you you walk into the dollar 25 um tree store right nobody's in line. You go pick up your couple um, things that you have. And upon trying to exit, the line is all the way to the aisle. And then you're sitting there just waiting because you know someone's going to come out the back um, and take the next guest, right? And somebody from the back of the line comes and goes next, knowing you was next, and you was in that aisle. They just walked straight on up. So, girl, it's not like that there. It is, it, I'm telling you, it, it isn't really that busy there. It's clean. It's bright. They have everything that you're really looking for on the shelf. It's not empty spots and stuff like that. And they had a bunch of nice crafting um, supplies or whatever. So, I just want to show you the few crafts that I did get from the Dollar Twenty Five Tree um, yesterday on my day off. So this is my Dollar Twenty Five Tree Crafters Hall. I don't know for some reason it won't let me zoom in. I want to zoom into what I'm doing, like focus in on a table, but it won't do that. That is odd. It lets me do it on my line, though. But anyways, so let's, this is, is kind of, close my laptop because that's kind of um, distracting. But I want to show you, I got my bag of all my woodwork projects that I'm going to be doing. Y'all know I'm going to open an Etsy shop. 
soon, guys. Really soon. I can't keep delaying, right? Um, so I got this little Dave and Buster's bag because it is super thick. <laughs> like your girl. No, I'm playing. <laughs> like your girl used to be, right? <laughs> That's why they used to call me Cadillac. <laughs> okay. So, I want to show you the items that I got. But I like this because it's easy to hold all my wood, you know, trinkets and stuff that I'm going to be working on. The first one I got, I got this from that Apopka $1.25 tree. This is so cool. I love this thing. This inspired me to, I don't even know what I'm going to do. But I think it's... I don't know yet. I might do some, um, you know, go take it back to graphic design school where you sketch and put your ideas because I only found one of these and this is so cool that you don't want to mess it up. My like, girl, so you already want to, I want to know what I'm going to do before I do it. Let's give us a little bit of light, see if that helps. Let's turn on the ring light, just a moment. Plug it in. I don't know why, but my green light doesn't make it terribly bright in the in the room. But that helped a little bit. That helped quite a bit. <laughs> I just can't face it because, you know, I'm the legally blind artist and it really hurts my eyes. I have keratoconus. All right. That is so nice, y'all. I love it. Let me move my little laptop because y'all know I got to lay it out in a display-wise. We're going to do this just like we did my other crafters haul okay this as well came from that apopka dollar 25 tree this was so cool when i seen this it's a nice size <laughs> that reminds me of when i said um at my restaurant, this co-worker told me anytime they ask how big are the fries, say it's a good portion. <laughs> and then people are like, okay, yeah, give it to me. So it's a nice size. That sounds like it's a good portion. Like, and then, okay, so it's wood. It has the cardboard back on there. It has this, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like a cord, right? It's cool. It's like you hang it up. It's different too because most things you would kind of have like a latch on the back and you just kind of hang it up. It gives it more character, I think, like this. And this is big enough. Like this is like, you know, those positive sayings or whatever cliche sayings or whatever home is where the heart is or whatever. Um, they would have, that's what I could picture here, right? But the way this is, this nice size, I actually think I could paint portraits in here, like some type of artwork. I don't think that's what most people that would pick it up would do, but I'm thinking that is cool. That is nice. You actually could make shelves out of this too as well if you wanted to with some type of, you know, shelving system. So I bought five of these. Right, girl, I went all out because I'm like, what if I don't find these? Because you know, the dollar 25 trip, you find something you like, you better get it, and you better get several because you may not find them no more, girl. So, how are we gonna set this up? Because this would be like my thumbnail. Y'all know I take my little thumbnail, this would be considered layout. <laughs> You got to have the correct spacing there and there, <laughs> but we're not in graphic design class, right? But you should have the correct spacing. You know, you would actually measure that if we were in graphic design class. So I got five of them, girl. Let's shift it up like that. I like this layout. Take me a nice little thumbnail pick. But I, you know, this right here would aggravate me if I couldn't get these perfect. <laughs> That's the one thing about an artist, they want to be perfect. 
And that actually hurts artists sometimes, the need to be perfect. Okay, so, oh yeah, I was supposed to start it out. I'm sorry, guys. This is showing y'all just how imperfect I am. Imperfect. I was supposed to be showing y'all some of my art. I am the legally blind artist, right? That is rapping and painting for justice, hoping to see justice before all face to black. It's yo girl, Cadillac. So, my current projects, and we will get right back to the hall. So that y'all can see your girl really is an artist. Artist Valentino Dixon, famous for drawing, um, golf landscapes and it actually freed him from a wrongful conviction i am starting a valentino inspired piece went to my nearest um golf course <laughs> and here it is i took i took some snapshots and then i started outlining it i'm gonna actually make one as i review wrongfully convicted stories. So I am fighting for justice. These are of Miss Gracie's Corner. I have a one-year-old granddaughter. She loves Gracie Corner. So this is one of her favorite videos from Miss Gracie. I'm working on that in my lives currently and will be going live shortly after this one. That's Humpty Dumpty. This is the money song. <laughs> That is my granddaughter on Miss Gracie. That is my nephew, Juju. Um, and that is my niece, Araya. That is my wrongfully convicted husband that I am drawing and painted for justice to free him, just as Valentino Dixon freed himself through art. I'm fighting for my husband. Um, he is 21 years in on his wrongful 40 year sentence. Um, so we're trying to, you know, his original date, he won't be home until our one-year-old granddaughter is almost 16, but he already missed our daughter's um, entire growing up life and everything. Um, the birth of our granddaughter, and if I do not get this wrongful conviction overturned, get the attention needed, um, he will miss most of our granddaughter's life. And then that's me, the grandmother. So this is from Gracie's Corner, the money song. And then this one here, I'm not quite sure what song that was from, but this is my daughter, Money. This is our daughter, Money, on the mother of Gracie's Corner. So I'm fusing the features together. This is my granddaughter, Princess. And then that's the little baby from Gracie's Corner, the little sister. So I didn't have another baby to put in there because our baby is the baby, but she's playing um, Gracie, so I can't. I could have put her face on both babies, um, but that's some of my art. I'm sorry for that little plug. <laughs> but girl, if I don't plug my art, who else will? Who else will, girl? Ain't nobody else gonna plug my art if I don't. <laughs> Okay, so let's fix our our ah, our spacing. Oh. Okay, girl. <laughs> so what else did we get? These were really nice. This is also from that Apopka Dollar Twenty Five tree, and I got these. I got four of them. Oh, it feels like I'm missing something. So what I was thinking about with these, and they're made like canvases, like wooden canvases. They're somewhat like, th those are more like those, um, remind me of those welcome signs and stuff. These are actual canvases, but they're wooden. Dollar twenty-five tree also, you know, sells canvases. So with this, I'm thinking of, have you ever seen those pictures that have several planks but all together they make one picture. 
So that's what I'm thinking of. Like you can mix and match these like however you want. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to have to go back and get more. But I have a problem with buying too much and then not never finding the time to create my artwork. So I just have all these supplies and never, you know, do anything. So you could set it up like that. Um, you can make one picture vertical like that. Um, you can get cool with it and have it some type of jagged form like that.